Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Bell & Ross BRO392CB. You can see this instrument style blue ceramic timepiece and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details. On my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this is the classical profile of the 2005 to present instrument series. Bell & Ross as a company has been around since 1992, but the Paris-based watchmaker didn't really find its identity and a shape and a sort of persona to call its own on the wrist until the 2005 instrument series unveiled at Basel World. The instruments effectively took the aesthetic of an analog flight deck instrument from the 20th century and transposed it into a wristwatch format. As such, it was more than just a coming of age for the Bell & Ross brand. It was actually the first completely unique break in the aesthetic of a pure utility watch from the norms established by Blancpain and Rolex in the early 1950s. Anything but another rotating bezel sports watch, the instrument prizes legibility and practicality above all. It also has a good dose of style, and at 46 millimeters across the broad of the case, this watch is an easy one to wear on a smaller wrist. Now it is quite compact, being under 50 millimeters from lug to lug, and only 13 millimeters thick, but with a stepped case flank and bezel, such that you can easily wear the watch underneath a tight sleeve or dress cuff, should you wish to. It has that kind of versatility, and with a dark aesthetic, from five paces, the watch looks black. It's only when you get close that you notice just how rich that blue ceramic really is. It's a gorgeous navy blue punctuated by azure details on the dial itself. Now, a big part of the ergonomic success story of Bell & Ross has always been the fact that the straps are incredibly flexible, unconstrained by the flanks of the case, so you can pull them straight down, and they stretch the full width of the case, creating a very integrated look, but also preventing this broad case from torquing on on the wrist. It stays very flat thanks to the broad mounting point of the strap. Now the strap is a superb piece because it has a lovely channel on the bottom. In addition to being very flexible and feeling great on the wrist, this channel allows heat, moisture, and grit to escape on a hot day. So it is ideally suited as a sports watch. Strong molded in character lines give definition to the broad swath of rubber and of course a simple tool watch style pin buckle allows easy adjustability on the fly. It's a perfect match for the watch and its intended use. Now I should mention that the watch, although aviation inspired, is very much a sports watch. So 100 meter water resistance means that whether you're a pilot, a seafarer, or perhaps the pilot of a seaplane, this watch is the ideal solution for you this summer. Now the ceramic is the standout element here. Ceramic is a high-tech modern material, kiln fired, and Although it's related to the pottery we've known since the inception of man, the bottom line is that it has a quality that's very much of the luxury era in watch applications, which is to say dark, rich colors with the ability to resist scratches in almost all cases. Pretty much anything that won't scratch a sapphire crystal won't scratch a ceramic case, and that's a welcome relief from some cases that look the business with PVD applications, but can't stand up to scratches. Once you have a PVD watch with scars showing through, you kind of lose the plot. Ceramic, in addition to being almost unscratchable, is also homogenous, such that if you did take a little chip or nick out of it, it's the same color right underneath. There's no gleaming metal to show through. The rest of the watch is the classic instrument series. Of course, quarter Arabics on the dial and broad indices. The watch glows like a torch at night, so again, true to its inspiration, flight deck instrumentation, the watch is legible in low or no light. For those who like the practicality of the date but don't like the aesthetic, Bell & Ross very subtly places a 430 date window, almost completely invisible. It's basically hidden until you want it, then it's useful. The watch does feature a ETA 2892A2 base caliber beneath its case back, and it's important to note that this ultra-thin automatic winding movement has a 42-hour power reserve. As a bi-directional winder, it's very steady on the wrist. It doesn't have the wobble of a unidirectional winder, such as a 7750. If you pull the crown, 
You do hack the balance, allowing precise synchronization to a known accurate reference time. And in the second position, the crown does have a quick set function such that you can rapidly cycle and correct the date. You can see this Bell & Ross BRO392CB in blue ceramic and purchase it on our website.